Hi everyone and welcome to part 4 of my new Now and Choreograph Train Tutorial videos. These videos are designed for someone who has just got their first now and needs to run through the basics, so please stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from RoboPhil.com. Now on these videos we're looking into the very basics of Now and Choreograph. Last week we were looking into the Now's web page functionalities as well as a few of the other Now services. This week we're looking into how to keep your Now up to date and then we will dive straight into the next section which is hands on with Choreograph. So starting with our index we are now looking into the last part of this section which is how to keep your Now up to date. Firstly you need to get the most current version of the Now and Choreograph software, which is while I'm recording this video is 2.13. You can get access to the latest Choreograph and Nauki software at http usersaldebaron roboticscom Please remember to always use the same version of Choreograph and Nauki together. So to install the latest version of the Nauki onto your robot, you need to retrieve the Now system image shown above. So the four things you need to do to get this running is first of all connect your now to Choreograph, then go to Connection, Advanced, Update Now System, then select the system image file, wait for the transfer to finish, then reboot your now. Flashing lasts between 10 to 15 minutes. The only warning you have to do regarding this is follow the instructions and be patient. Forcing now to reboot while downloading or flashing may crash the reboot. If you're looking to flash from a USB key, then get a USB stick which is unformatted and larger or equal to 512 megabytes. Download the Now Flasher according to your operating system on your computer on Aldebaran's website. Use this to put the system image onto the formatted USB stick. Be sure the robot is charged, then unplug the charger out, charge it an Ethernet cable. Shut down the Now and plug in the USB and then press the chest button until it gets to the blue stage. Wait approximately 40 minutes. You also have the option to do a factory reset. This is the same procedure as before, but this time you have to check the factory reset box. This will delete all data, preferences and passwords and useful to start again with a brand new clean now, if it's been corrupted for example. Right, that's it for that section guys. We're now going to jump into the next section where we can get more hands on the choreograph. We're going to go back to the index and we're going to go down and see what's next on the list. So in this new section we're looking at hello world, create and organise boxes, sense the world and then we're moving on to move. Now for the guys that watch my videos I'm going to go over a few of the basics again so please bear with me. So jumping straight into hello world we'll see this splits down again. So first of all we're going to have a look create your first behaviour, connect to the robots, parallel behaviours and useful features. So inside the software choreograph it has three main panels, starting with number one, which is the default box library panel. This displays the ready to use boxes. Choreograph includes and opens by default a box library named standard which is read only. It contains all the elementary boxes you need to create your first behaviours. Those boxes are ordered by the category of actions, so, so motions, LEDs etc or the function in the diagram, so flow control templates of boxes etc. So you have a look at the picture, have a look at section A, this shows the standard panel tab, but this also includes the search panel. This enables you to search for a specific box among the open box libraries. The part B is showing the selection box, each box is represented with its name and its own image. And the C is showing the tooltip, so this displays the description of the selected box. The second panel is the flow diagram. The flow diagram panel is a place where you can compose your now's behaviours. So having a look at this picture and section A, this is the box path, which allows you to browse the different levels of the flow diagrams when a box contains other boxes. B is showing the flow diagram, so this again which allows you to create or edit the flow diagram of the current behaviour or box. We're then looking at C, which is the input border, so this is where you can add, edit or delete inputs of your current behaviour or box. And then D, which is the output border, which again you can add, edit or delete outputs of the current behaviour or box. The third panel is the 3D robot view. The robot view displays a 3D representation of the current positions and joints of the robot you are connected to. It also allows you to modify the joint values of each limb using the motion widget or the forward kinetics mode, experimental mode. Another advantage is that it also shows the sentences currently said by the robot. 
It is updated as soon as you move a joint, player behavior, moving a joint manually on a real robot, or moving a joint using the motion widget on the forward kinetics mode. The only limitations of the robot view is that the torso of the robot is static. It is in the reference of the 3D view. The limbs and the head of the robot moves around the torso, which does not move. So even if your real robot falls over, you will not see it lie down in the 3D view. You will only see the relative position of its joints. To navigate through the 3D world, you can move up, down, right or left by pressing and dragging the mouse with the left click. You can zoom in and out of the view by scrolling the wheel of your mouse, turn around on a point by pressing on the point and dragging the mouse with the right click, or change the point of view by right clicking on the 3D view and selecting the point of view you wish. By default, the point of view is in front of the robot. The other options you have, if you wanted to select a different simulated robot, you can change the model and the hardware version of the robot. You can also deactivate the 3D view in case of technical issues with your computer disturbing the display. So let's quickly grab a say box from the box panel. It should be in the audio voice folder. Drag and drop it into the flow diagram. This box is a copy from the one in the library. It can be moved, copied and pasted. This box has inputs on the right and inputs on the left. The on start input starts the box and the on stop input stops the box. The on stopped output is activating when the box stops. The plus button also allows you to add inputs and outputs. Right, so let's link the say box to the input and output of the behavior. Click the behavior on the input and drag it to the box of the input and the same for the output. A behavior can be run without a robot. Corglos should be connected to a local now key. Run the behavior by clicking the button. You can see the sentence when the robot is active. The links become green when activated. You can stop the behavior by clicking the stop button. Right, that's it for this week guys. Just to recap, you've gone through how to keep your now up to date and how to create your first choreograph behavior. If you like this and want even more free video tutorials, news and information, then please visit us at robofield.com where you can download the latest free eBooks and get insider information and techniques of how to become a robot expert. Now, if you like this tutorial and want to see the next one in the collection, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well, where I've put links relating to these videos as well as other information about the Now Robot. If you have any questions or want to see any other related tutorials, then please write me a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.